Hey guys, since uh, the world has changed so much and I, and I tend to be teaching from home way more often, I figure I'd make a couple little quick tips and uh, a couple little fun lessons here for you guys to check out. This first one is going to be our two note per string seventh arpeggios, right? So this today we're going to be doing uh, a major seventh chord, right? This is going to work for all your seventh chords, right? Major seven, dominant seven, minor seven, half diminished, any kind of four note chord really diminished. Uh, so on and so forth uh, and it's great you should take this and apply it to all of them so the key here is to have two notes two chord tones per string right and uh, we're doing G so we're gonna do G B and F sharp and we're gonna go to the lowest possible chord tone on the neck and start there right so it's gonna be F sharp let's go ahead and give that a try right nice and slow So that will be our chord from the major seven. So let's go on to the root, to G. On to the next chord tone, we're going to start from B now. Next one is from D. There's a lot of great players who use this technique, right? George Benson uses it all the time. I, I've transcribed quite a few of his solos, and you'll hear he does actually a lot of major seven licks just like that. And what's cool is when you speed it up, you can use like a hammer on and pull off technique. How are we going to use this? Uh, we're going to take it and we're going to imply it over some different chords. Uh, you know, the very first one we can do is, of course, G major seven, and it'll sound okay. You know, it's not going to sound anything crazy because that is just the chord. You're just screaming out the chord, right? But the next way you can kind of step it up a little, a little bit is if you know some harmony, right? You know, like your diatonic seventh chords we can just play them a third away from in the scale, right? A third away from in the scale. So G major seven, right, is really gonna sound good over E minor seven. That's a third back from the, third up from there. Right, so a third up from E minor seven is G major seven. So that's gonna sound good. Now, we can also go a third back, right? So third back, we can do over B minor, it's gonna sound really good. It might sound cool if you, you know, make the flat the five, get a Lydian sound. So that's pretty much how you use this, right? Or how I've been using it. It's a great thing to practice, it really helps you see the notes on the fretboard a lot better too, because the, the jumps are kind of big, you know, everything's pretty stretched out uh, if you enjoyed the lesson you know reach out you know hit me up in the DM as the song goes right <laughs> and uh, I'm available for lessons or anything that's going on I'm gonna leave links to my Spotify and uh, stuff like that if you want to check out some of my music peace